welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited for this collab, you guys. O-M-G. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. She is the beautiful, the brilliant, the amazing Hannah Louise Poston. And I connected with Hannah on Instagram. I don't know how, but sometime this year YouTube suggested that I watch her channel and I was just like, who is this mythical unicorn that is going on a year-long no-buy here in the world of YouTube? Like, I know there's some other channels that have done year-long no-buys. I think there was like a British girl I saw at the beginning of this year that did a no-buy in 2017. There's a few people. I know Hannah's not the first person to do a no-buy year, but she's like, once you watch her channel, you'll understand why her channel is growing so quickly. She's so eloquent. She is so graceful. She's just, she's just amazing. Like, I love the way she talks. I could listen to her all day. Yeah, her channel is wonderful. So, on her channel, she does this thing called Five Days of X. And I was really excited to be able to collab with her on Five Days of Blush, because I am a closeted blushaholic. I do try not to buy every blush that comes out. I'm very happy with my current blush situation. I feel like I have enough variety. I have some fun ones for the summer, some fun ones for the winter time. So I'm very happy with my blush collection. And one of my things that I definitely have on my no buy list for 2019 is blush because I want to get through some of these. So I was so excited to do this collab. I have some check-ins filmed. This is my intro. We've got five days of blush. So I wore a different blush color and I just want to recap the different shades I wore. So on the first day, I wore one of my favorites. This is Sweet Pea by Becca. Becca blushes are really, really great. I don't even think they're very underrated because I feel like a lot of people did talk about these blushes when they first launched. I picked up the shade Sweet Pea in particular because when me and Rel first met, he would call me Sweet Pea and I was just like head over heels, you know? So I did buy this shade Sweet Pea and it's honestly just like a great everyday neutral blush. So let's go ahead and get into my check-in from day one. Good morning, it's Monday morning here at the Harris house and I am getting ready for my first day of the five days of blush challenge. So I have my blush on already and the one I used today is one of my all-time favorite blushes. This is by the brand Becca Cosmetics and it's in the shade Sweet Pea. I'm not sure if they make this one anymore but I remember back in the day when Becca was like one of the most buzzed about brands, especially when Jaclyn Hill was raving about it. I think she loved their blushes too. She used to talk about some of their more famous shades, I think like Songbird all the time. And I ended up picking up the shade Sweet Pea because that's what my husband used to call me when we first started dating. He used to call me Sweet Pea all the time. And so it was kind of sentimental, but actually I love the shade anyway, so it worked out really well for us. It's just a great everyday go-to nude shade and I am trying to work on using up some of my blushes for 2018-2019. I'm trying not to bring anything new into my collection because honestly I don't really switch up my blushes that much and I feel like once you have a blush a certain color that you love you don't really need to buy more of that same color over and over again unless you know something's gone bad or something like that. So any who's I hope you guys like this look and I will be back in the evening for a check-in on how I feel about this blush. Hey guys, it's my day one check-in with the Songbird blush. I haven't even seen myself in the mirror yet. I just got home, let my dogs out and sat down to film and then I'm gonna eat and just decompress. It's like seven o'clock at night. So this morning, it was about 7 a.m. I actually do wear my makeup for about 13 hours each day just between work and running errands and the holidays and all that jazz. So yeah, it's been quite the day. Uh, I came home and I saw that the cats knocked over the Christmas tree. So I was right. Um, I betted, bet, bet that they, actually it was wrong because I bet that it would be down in within 24 hours. And they managed to get it down in about under 48. It's totally bent out of shape. There's some shattered ornaments. And my husband's gonna have such a wonderful time helping me clean that up when he gets home. I honestly don't even care that much because the tree we bought was on clearance last year. It was like 11 bucks and it's a shitty tree. 
so I don't really care. And honestly, we put it up to take family photos and now it's gone and I, I don't really care. I mean, it's fine. It just takes up space and it's, it's not, it doesn't, like Christmas trees to me aren't like the epitome of holidays. So it's fine, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I am very impressed with how this blush lasted. I can still see it. Uh, of course, my makeup's like worn out a little bit. I haven't actually had anything to eat since this morning because I ate Chinese food for breakfast and so I wasn't very hungry all through my work day. So my lipstick actually lasted as well. It's my favorite. It's the Morphe liquid lipstick in the shade Peanut. And yeah, I really like this blush. It's one of my favorites. I think the Becca blushes are an excellent formula. And that's pretty much all I have to say for day one. I don't know how I'm going to make it through the week filming in the morning and in the evening. I just feel like mornings are so chaotic, but we will try our best and I will see you tomorrow. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed day one. On day two, I decided to go with probably my oldest and favorite blush of all time. This is Red Vino by Milani. It's super affordable. It's from the drugstore. It's oh so flattering on my skin tone. If you're even darker than me, I feel like this would look even more stunning on you. It's beautiful. It's just the perfect fall shade. It's got some gold flecks in it. There's a marbling effect. Oh my gosh, everyone loves the Bake Blushes by Milani. I think one of their more famous ones is Luminoso. I felt like that was a little too light for me, but I don't hear people talk about Red Vino, and honestly, this is like a game changer blush in my opinion. So if you get a chance to pick this up, I would recommend it 100%. So let's go ahead and check out my check-in for day two. Hey guys, welcome to day two of my five days of blush collab with Hannah. Today I'm wearing one of my all-time favorite blushes. I don't think I've worn this one all at all in 2018. And I decided that if I'm gonna do this, I have to feature this blush. And this is Milani Red Vino. This formula is so amazing. I love this shade because I think it is, it's so appropriate for the fall winter time. And I think if you have an even darker skin tone than me, this is gonna look amazing on you. I love this. It's so beautiful. There is like a marbling effect and it's like a red vino-esque base with a ton of shimmer in it. And it's incredibly beautiful and I love this blush so, so much. So this is it on my cheeks. I do have some bronzer on. I didn't put any highlight on today. I haven't really been wearing highlighter this week because I want the blush to really pop. So here is what it looks like. And I will catch you at my check-in at the end of the day. Hey guys, so it is Tuesday evening and it is 5.36 p.m. And I'm back from work today. Got in a little bit early, but I am gonna go see Bohemian Rhapsody with my friend Megan. So I thought I'd film this before all my makeup wear it off. This is how the Red Vino blush from Milani wore on my face today. Like I said in the morning, I really, really love this blush. I think it's like the perfect blush for people with my skin tone. It's pretty long wearing, and of course there's a ton of products. Gonna take me forever to get through this guy if I ever do get through it. But yeah, that is my report on day two, and I'm so excited. There's three more days to go. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Like I said, I don't usually have very much time in the morning. So props to Hannah for doing this. I always wish I could like film earlier um, so that my makeup is more fresh. But anyway, it is what it is. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay guys, so on day three, I picked up a blush palette. Now these are my two favorite blush palettes. I have a few other face palettes that have blush, but these are the only, well no, I have the e.l.f. blush palettes too. By the way, totally underrated, definitely worth picking up if you haven't tried the e.l.f. blush palettes. These ones are from Juvia's Place, and I love these because this is volume one, and it's actually the palette for deeper skin tones. And I was really hoping I would use either Zane or Toby, but that eye look, I think it needed something more subtle. So I went with volume two and I ended up using Sola, which I used as a blush topper because it has a sheen to it. And then B was my base shade, which was this beautiful mauve color. So honestly, if you don't want 800 blushes in your collection, 
pick up one of these or both of these on a Juvia's Place sale and I swear you will be set for life. So now let's get into my check-in. Day three. <laughs> Hi guys, good morning. It's day three of my five days of blush challenge collab with Hannah. And today I went a little bit blush happy, a little bit blush heavy. Usually I don't think I would put this much blush on, but I kind of stayed away from highlighter this week. So I've been overcompensating with blush. And today I had picked out to use either my Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Volume 1 or 2. And I always start off doing my eye looks and then I put my foundation on and then bronzer and blush. So... I came up with this eye look and I was like, oh, that's kind of a dramatic eye look because originally I had wanted to show you guys like one of these like orange or pink shades. And then I thought since the eye look was very like silvery and gold, I would want to do something a little bit more toned down. So I went into this palette and picked up the shade B, which is a beautiful mauve blush. And you guys, these are so pigmented. I just needed the tiniest amount so I just used my regular blush brush and just put it on. And then I felt like I needed a little bit of a shine because I don't have any highlighter on. So then I use the shade Sola as like a blush topper slash highlight. So those are the two blushes I have on today. I really like these Juvia's palettes, like I've said in many different videos. I think if you get one of these, you probably won't need to buy a blush, honestly. I have definitely put blushes on my no buy list for 2019 because I have a really good blush collection I feel like and if I were to buy a blush next year it would have to really like blow my socks off. So anyway I hope you enjoyed this look I created. I hope you enjoyed this check-in. I'll see you this evening. Bye guys. Hey guys it's my day three evening check-in and this is how my blush wore today. It's 6 24 so like 6 30 Again, I usually do my makeup pretty early in the morning. It's about 7.30 a.m. usually, central time when I do my makeup. And today's blush is the Saharan blush from the Volume 2. <laughs> I almost said one. This is Volume 2 by Juvia's Place, and I paired it with the shade B and the shade right here called Sola. And I went pretty ham with it, and it still lasted. And you know the crazy thing is? This particular week, I decided to try kind of a weird thing with my foundation and I think it's actually helping my foundation last a really long time so I've been layering my L'Oreal is it the Pro Glow it's the green tube I'll throw up a picture because I can't remember the name and then I've been putting on a one pump of the Huda Beauty full filter foundation and I really like it I think it really helps my foundation last a long time because the L'Oreal one is very hydrating and then the Huda one is like a nice alabaster <laughs> plaster on my face, which I love because I am a full coverage gal. I love it when my face is all flawless looking, even though it is just makeup. Anyway, I really like this blush. I'm really enjoying this series. I've never filmed myself in the morning and in the evening. So it's just going to be really interesting to like review all this footage. And I'm just very excited and of course, very grateful to be collabing with my friend Hannah. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye. Okay, on day four, I wore one of my favorites. This is my favorite, favorite Natasha Denona Duo Glow Blush. And I picked this up when I was in Las Vegas this January. So this is just coming up on its one year birthday. And this is in the shade Alba. You guys, this is gorgeous. It's actually the blush I have on today. I love this because it has some color to it. And it also has a little bit of like a highlighter built into it. So if you want to look, you know, sun-kissed, like this is amazing for the summertime. I'm also just like really into this shade. I recently picked up this little guy from Surat Beauty. And I've seen a lot of YouTubers do like products I have multiples of. And this color in blush is just definitely something I have like multiples of. Let me show you this. This is day five. This is what I wore for blush yesterday. It's the Kevin Aquan. In sunset do you guys do you guys see a pattern here it's a little bit of a sickness that I have with coral shade <laughs> blushes but yeah this one is stunning it's a little bit of a blush highlighter situation and it's like one of the first and only products from Natasha Denona I loved until I got the gold palette this was the only thing she made that I would thought was worth spending money on so love that guy and let me show you the look I created using 
this blush. Hey guys, welcome to day four of my five days of blush collab with Hannah. And today I'm wearing an oldie but a goodie. This is the Natasha Denona Duo Glow in the shade Alba. And oh my gosh, you guys, when I got this, I was obsessed with this. I don't like a whole lot of Natasha Denona products. But this one is stunning. I picked this up in Vegas when I was there in January for work. So I've had this for almost a year and I'm so excited that I got a chance to pull it out. This is a very, almost like an eyeshadow. It's very, very like thick. Reminds me a lot of like the Jeffree Star highlighters. It has like that almost like an eyeshadow consistency, but this shade is so beautiful because it's like a peach corally color with a ton of golden shimmer it's like almost a duochrome i'm assuming that's why it's called a duo glow and it's just gorgeous again this is one where you don't need to wear a highlighter um and that's all i have on it today is some bronzer and this blush i tried a bunch of new products on today i just got this in the mail this is the bh cosmetics this is the bh cosmetics brilliant bronzer in the shade coco cutie i was curious to know if this would match me and this bronzer is like 10 bucks and it did actually work on my skin I can't tell you about the formula yet, obviously, because it's my first time putting it on the face. But I do like picking up bronzers every once in a while. I also just received this in my Alta order. This is Dose of Colors Old Flame, and it's like a very coral, peachy shade. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Sometimes these are hard to pull off for me. So we'll see how that goes. And then another new product I tried out today for the first time is this Tom Ford Quad in the shade African Violet. This is what I used my $25 off a $75 purchase. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of all the other products I was wearing. I wanted to do a more subtle eye look because this blush is very glowy and it's a lot. So this is the look I came up with. Okay, I already kind of gave you guys a sneak peek into day five, but this is my day five blush. This I picked up this year as well. This is the Neo Blush in the shade Sunset, and I love it so, so much. It is such a beautiful shade, and as you can see, it has a gradient. Kevin Aquan makes a lot of products like this. They have highlighters, they have blushes, they have bronzers. None of those shades really work for me, like the bronzers in particular look a lot lighter than what will work for my skin tone, but I was so happy when I saw this one, and I grabbed it right away during one of the Sephora sales, and this is like more of a highlighter. So you can wear that, or you can just go right here to the matte section and wear this like warm coral color, which looks so fun in the summertime. Or you can just swirl your brush around and you know, you'll get this kind of pigmented, kind of highlighter-y shade as well, which I think makes this palette or this blush so, so diverse. I did try to buy more shades from the formula because they do have three other colors, but Sunset was my favorite, so that's why I wanted to wear it on day five. So let me show you the look. Okay guys, before we get into this video, quick disclaimer, I started filming before I looked at myself in the mirror and I had lipstick on my teeth the whole time, so if that bothers you, I'm so sorry. I'm such a failure when it comes to being a YouTuber. I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is my day five of my five days of blush challenge collab with Hannah. Hannah Louise Poston here on YouTube. You guys probably already know who she is. Anyway, I'm excited. Last night I totally blanked. I didn't film an evening check-in and I texted Hannah and Hannah's like, oh, I've just been doing just one in the morning. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> so hopefully I'll hear back from her this morning because I was like, I don't know why I thought I had to do a morning and an evening situation, but Anyway, let me show you guys the blush I have on today. This is also one of my favorites. I feel like I definitely picked my favorites. Okay, Teddy. He just like knows every time the camera's on because he just like lays there usually. And then as soon as the camera's on, he needs to be held. Is that right, little gremlin? <laughs> Are you done? Oh, <laughs> okay, so back to the blush situation. So this is the blush I have on today. This is by Kevin Aquan. This is the Neo Blush in the shade Sunset. I believe this is the only thing that I own from the Kevin Aquan brand. And 
Honestly, I don't regret this one bit. I did try to buy, or I did buy the shade Grapevine, and I didn't love it as much. It was like a more muted mauve shade, and you'd think that was right up my alley, but I'm sure from this week, you guys can tell my heart is in those peachy blushes. But what I love about this is it has like a shimmery part and then a matte, you know, peachy coral part here at the end. So I can, you know, go for a more blush topper, more of a shimmery blush or a matte look as well. So it really kind of serves many purposes in my makeup collection. And I just love this color, you guys. I think it looks great in the winter time because it looks like you've been outside and your cheeks are a little cold. And in the summertime, it's amazing on tan skin because you just look so bright and sun-kissed and it really complements a tan. So yeah, I really love this blush and this is the look I created this morning with it. Okay guys, again, I do apologize for the lipstick on my teeth. It is a hazard of the trade, unfortunately, sometimes because of these teeth I have, these little vampy teeth, I always get lipstick on my teeth and I was so embarrassed. So I took refill my intro and outro because I did film it yesterday when I had my blush on, but c'est la vie. Anyway, I just want to say thank you, Hannah, for letting me collab with you. This was so fantastic. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hannah, thank you so much for collabing with me. You are truly a gem here in the YouTube community. I think your channel is much needed, and I cannot wait to see what you do in 2019. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you found it useful, entertaining, or you learned something, why am I saying this is somebody's outro? Who says that? I don't know. Oh, I think it's Coffee Break with Danny. I just stole Coffee Break with Danny's outro. Anyway, if you did find this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.